Luckily, the rain wasn't here in time for tonight's popular night market in San Francisco's Chinatown. It's been so successful, it's now going to be a regular event every month. Amanda Harry went out to enjoy the sights and the sounds of what locals are hoping is a sign of things heading in the right direction. The Chinatown Night Market transforms Grant Avenue into a fun, vibrant, festival-like feel. It's all small businesses, and they say it helps them beyond just this one night. Really bringing, you know, people uh, to Chinatown. Lily Lowe spent her afternoon running around, getting all the final pieces in place for Chinatown's second night market of the year. The now monthly market was inspired by a similar event hosted right before the Apex Summit last November. Lowe says the vendors wish it happened even more frequently. Oh, they like it. They, they want me to do every week. I said, I can do it. I'm happy to do once a, once a month. I thought it's, it's good. Lowe says the market is exposing a new generation to San Francisco's Chinatown. Chinatown, a lot of the low income and senior. And of course, you know, we don't have enough young people who they're the one who spend money. So we like <laughs> people come in and spend money. Eunice Liu is participating in her second night market. She says her business, Lady Luck Cafe, has already benefited. It's to help our business grow and have more exposure. All the vendors are from Chinatown businesses. Although it helps each business, Liu says it's bigger than that. It gives us an opportunity to show more of our culture and to also um, again, help our the local economy. And soon, the market may be physically bigger. So I'm doing three blocks, so I'm trying to apply for another two blocks. Lowe says more vendors continue to reach out to her for a spot at the market. But with only three blocks, 30 is her max for now. The booths that line Grant Avenue offer a variety of food, pastries, and even some entertainment. <laughs> We want people to come out and enjoy it and have fun. Lowe says she plans to apply for those two extra blocks for next month's market, but either way, she expects May to be even bigger than the April market.